Road crashes and the damage they entail represent a serious issue and are one of the main causes of death. Some statistics have shown that the majority of road accidents are due to human error and 60% of these accidents could have been avoided if the driver had been warned at least half a second beforehand. In this context, vehicular ad hoc networks, known as vanettes, are deployed to reduce the risk of road accidents as well as to improve passenger comfort by allowing vehicles to exchange different kinds of data. The safety-related applications represent the main objective of intervehicular communications. When an accident is detected, a vehicle can continuously broadcast information about this critical situation to the approaching vehicles. When a vehicle breaks suddenly, it broadcasts information about its current status, which is used by the surrounding vehicles to quickly detect the sudden braking. Since safety applications in Vernets have stringent QoS requirements, an efficient medium access control protocol or MAC protocol that can provide a broadcast service with bounded access delays and minimum transmission collision is required. Recently, MAC protocols, notably those that are based on the TDMA technique, have been used to enable multiple vehicles to use the same frequency channel without interfering with other vehicles' transmissions. When a distributed scheme is used to allocate a time slot, two types of collision can occur. Access collision between vehicles trying to access the same available time slots and emerging collision between vehicles using the same time slots. In order to improve TDMA efficiency in Vernet, we proposed a fully distributed TDMA-based MAC protocol, which does not rely on an expensive infrastructure. DTMAC uses vehicles' locations and a slot reuse concept to ensure that vehicles in adjacent areas have collision-free schedule. Then, in order to ensure that event-driven safety messages can be sent over a long distance, we propose TRPM, a TDMA-aware routing protocol for multi-hop communication. Our routing scheme is based on a cross-layer approach between the MAC and the routing layers in which the intermediate vehicles are selected using TDMA scheduling information. The simulation results show that, compared to other protocols, our proposed protocols provide better performances in terms of collision rate, average end-to-end -end delay and average number of hops. For more information on these protocols, visit the website in the description.